Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a fairly unusual Mauser broom handle. Uh, this one actually ended up in Southeast Asia in Siam of all places, which of course in 1939 became Thailand. And the way we can tell that is we have some Siamese markings right here. Now this is a known marking on broom handles and also I believe there are some 1930s era Lugers that also have similar markings so it's not unknown. This gun would date to about 1904 probably maybe 1905. I'm not going to get really in the weeds about the exact year that this gun was made because it's kind of hard to tell you're just going on serial number. It is in the early 60,000 serial number range, which is kind of when these guns appear with the Siamese markings on them. And as I understand it, I really, I'm gonna be really honest, I don't know exactly what this means. I believe it is the, I believe that's a tiger head. And then these are essentially gun numbers. Um, if this was a contract of guns that was sold to Siam at the time, it wasn't really recorded by Mauser, and there's no set serial number range or anything like that that they were made in, like the Italian Navy or the, the Turkish contract, which were had their own serial number range, and those are the only guns that you're going to find in that serial number range. This is just one out of regular commercial production. You know, as far as we know, the next gun could have gone to America as part of a Von Langkirk and Detmold contract. But you've got a very standard small ring hammer gun. You've got your standard Mauser markings here. Your grips are very typical for a gun of this time period. Um, really everything is is extremely standard this would be just a regular run-of-the-mill mauser if you didn't have the markings there from siam you've got your standard front sight the gun is in 763 mauser there are no interesting stamps underneath the barrel as you can see the entire gun sort of has a gray mousy look to it and that really is typical of guns that spend a lot of time in the humid environment of Southeast Asia. This is a well cared for gun, but again, that climate is just really gonna play havoc with bluing. And so a lot of uh, Dutch East Indies Lugers and broom handles that went to Southeast Asia, and just you know, weapons in general that spent time there are, are pretty worn down and, and pretty, well, pretty used that's the best way to put it um, but this one certainly is one of the better condition ones that I have seen of this small contract I don't know how many actually went to Siam uh, no one's got any official records everyone would just be kind of guesstimating and I'm not going to do that I will say that it's got the standard Mauser marking on the chamber and then your short extractor by this time, Mauser had gone to a shorter extractor. The original extractors pretty much went the entire length of the bolt here. Your rear sight is a standard 50 to 1000 sight, and the gun is cut for a shoulder stock. Uh, as I said, really nothing unusual about this gun other than the markings. So if you do come across a broom handle with markings like this or similar to this, you know you're looking at probably a, a Siamese contract gun. Um, I know that around 1904, there was a massive sort of modernization of the uh, Siamese military because there was, a, I believe there was an arms embargo from France and England. And I know Germany had sort of given them some of the technical know-how for certainly the Siamese Mauser, which was made in Japan and assembled in, in, um, in Siam. But uh, it just sort of makes sense that you would see a German broom handle as part of sort of German involvement in the Siamese weapons industry at that time. 
And look, I know the country is called Thailand. I'm using this name of Siam because that's what it was called at the time that this gun went there. Uh, but just a very interesting broom handle, one that you really don't see every day and certainly not an all matched example like this. Uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at an unusual contract and uh, if you have one or know about these or anything i'd love to hear your comments so uh, drop a comment and like and subscribe and we'll do more videos on all kinds of interesting broom handles and other guns and helmets and everything in between coming up thanks for watching